welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing with you why I think the M2 MacBook Air is the best laptop for undergrad, graduate, even young professionals who are 18 years old, just getting out of high school, who may need a laptop in their future. Now, these obviously are not cheap and I understand that, but for anyone who's looking at the Apple side of things, who has an iPhone or uses Apple as a whole, they may want to prefer a MacBook Air. And don't worry, there are student discounts and there are also sales that are run. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first reason why Apple is recommended, in my opinion, is because their chips are now a game changer. Instead of boring you with specs, let me kind of explain what has been going on with Apple the last few years. They have created their own computer chips, which are no longer using Intel. This is all Apple all the time. And these chips are incredibly fast and you will often find that they will outdo any Windows laptop within the same price point on the market. Another perk of Mac is that viruses and malwares are pretty much non-existent. Windows, I can't say the same because I've actually had some pretty terrible experiences with Windows laptops. My sister and I both grew up in the age of computers where we had to have a computer in kindergarten. Constantly had to send our laptops in for repair. And it never got any better until my sister and I both got in college and we both bought our own MacBooks. And then it was like, wow. Now she bought one in 2016 because I remember it was the semester before I graduated from high school. It was a 2015 11 inch Mac and it still is in perfect condition. It still runs perfectly for her and she still has it today in 2023. So these Macs are also built to last in addition to the anti-malware. You don't even need anti-malware on a Mac at this point. There is software out there, but you really don't need it. Um, now I will say Mac has been a game changer for us both and not once have we had to send in our Macs for repair knock on wood. So now let's get into the different ways to buy a Mac. There are multiple ways to get your hands on one. The one way that people don't really share is Apple refurbish. So you can find gently used Macs that have been most likely traded in in exchange for somebody buying another one. I know because I've done that and these Macs are very well taken care of. They go through a rigorous cleaning process and then are resold back to people who may be interested in buying a refurbished Mac. And that is one of the cheapest ways to get a Mac. The other way to buy it is directly through Apple. Now I will say Apple hardly runs anything on sale, only on Black Friday and around back to school promotions where they give you $150 off. Now you can get a student discount by buying one, but you do have to be an actual student and go through Apple's education store to be able to buy one. Best Buy also has Macs. Mind you, they are not like custom Macs like you can get directly from Apple. So you can't like get upgraded, you know, RAM or memory. But for this purpose of what you may be using the Mac Air for, you wouldn't need that anyway. So Best Buy would probably be your second best bet um, to go and see if they have Macs on sale. I know they run, run them on sale throughout the year multiple times, but especially around the back to school time. Now it comes down to which model should you buy, 13 inch or Apple actually just released a 15 inch. And I haven't had a chance to get my hands on one just yet, but I am working on that. And I honestly think that a 13 inch is, it's so lightweight. First of all, you don't really need much more unless you really want the bigger screen. When I went to Vegas for a work trip, I actually took this laptop with me as opposed to my MacBook Pro. And it was so much lighter and easier to carry around. It's super lightweight. I mean, it's just like, look how thin this is y'all. Like this is thinner than one of my eyes. It's pretty thin. So overall, I would recommend the M2 MacBook Air. You can buy an M1 as well. The main thing is to buy a Mac computer with an Apple chip because the Apple chip has totally changed the game for everything Apple. Apple no longer relies on Intel, which is amazing. And Apple is also a company that if they're gonna do something, they're gonna do it right the first time. Um, that's like with everything, you know, people make fun and say, well, you know, Samsung came out with this before Apple did. Like I said, Apple is a company that will do, they will make sure that if they're gonna do something, if they're gonna launch something, they're gonna do it right. And I have mad respect for that. <laughs> but in any case, I hope this video has been helpful, insightful, and maybe might give you an idea of what you might wanna buy for as you're going off to college or 
starting grad school. So in that case, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. I post new videos every single week and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. There is software out there. Is this the overheat? Yeah, it is. Port a, port, to port around. To port, and we're out of battery. And game changed.